Spring brake chambers are a fundamental component of the wheel end braking system, transforming the energy of compressed air into a mechanical movement with such high forces to help bring the vehicle to a safe stop, as well as being able to keep it in a part position. So that we at EBS can help assist users of the internal wind-off mechanism version, we bring to you this video to help you better understand the workings within and also how to properly set these during the fitment process to help avoid further vehicle downtime and costs to your business. Now full vehicle guidelines and health and safety procedures must be followed when replacing items of this nature and to ensure that the vehicle is in a safe and secure manner in order to carry out the work safely. Please never attempt to remove the brake chamber's body or dismantle the unit itself. Some of the common issues we encounter on a regular basis with this style of unit is that the wind-off bolt mechanism is not being turned in the correct manner until the visible button is fully retracted into the wind-off bolt end. The other issue we see is that the mechanism is being over torqued and subsequently causing a breakage of the connection between the piston and the spring rendering the unit unfit for use and voiding all warranty. Air tools must not be used when setting these kind of units and all EBS units supplied clearly state that air tools must not be used but they still are. EBS supply all internal wind off brake chambers in a pre-fitment state known as caged with the push button exposed from the wind off mechanism nut so during the fitment process with air pressure of around six and a half bar applied to port 12 the winding mechanism nut should then be turned in the correct direction as is clearly stated on the instructional labels affixed to the chamber's EBS supply. This then begins to move the protective plate, allowing the spring to actuate the piston. Again, please do not use air tools to perform this process. When the mechanism is now entirely uncaged, the button within the mechanism's nut will have now fully retracted inside the mechanism itself and it's now ready to fit to the vehicle. Once the chamber is fully fitted to the vehicle and the handbrake is then applied, this will then begin to release air from the chamber and the piston will start to actuate and is now ready for operation. We hope that this video you will find useful and offers a clearer understanding of the workings and its fitment process. The EBS Aftermarket Group stock one of the largest ranges of brake chambers available, along with a two-year warranty, manufactured to OEM specification and fully inspected by EBS's own team of in-house quality control engineers. Please visit www.ebs.co.uk for more information on our brake chamber range, as well as over 35 other product ranges available.